it's like we've gone back to 2015. Hey guys! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie, and I make girly glam and slightly ratchet content here online and today's video is no different. I have not worn my hair curly and long like this in forever. This used to be my go-to style. You guys saw me all the time on my channel. And then when the pandemic hit, I decided to try new things, switch things up, make things interesting. So I'm bringing back a classic carry video with a curly hair extension based video featuring Irresistible Me hair extensions. Shout out to Irresistible Me for sending your girl these hair pieces. We have a lot to get through from the review of these hair extensions to how to apply to how to style them for 2022. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But first, make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as turn on the post notification bell that way you never miss when I upload a new video and feel free to follow me on social media at glamanista 8 pretty much everywhere that way you can stay tuned and see behind the scenes content on all the girly glam and slightly ratchet parts of my life but other than that we're just gonna get right into today's video all right guys I'm really excited to film this video just because it's been a while since one I've worn curly hair extensions like this and two I don't know if I ever really went into too much detail about my curly extensions in the past and how to apply them and how to blend and do all that kind of stuff because I was still shy about talking about not having completely natural hair. Now your girl don't care, okay? And I'm sharing all the hacks with you guys because it's something that's fun. Um, there's no shame in your natural hair and this is actually the hack that I relied on so heavily when I was filming in the past when I was in high school and college because it allowed me to grow out my hair and keep it healthy um, without damaging it and still getting the length that I want. So this is what my curls look like after I have washed them and have set them in twist for a day. Usually my curls will stretch and kind of loosen throughout the week as I style them, but this is like the most bouncy they are and it's probably like the best they're going to blend <laughs> with these extensions. These um, Irresistible Me extensions, I will have all the details and information linked down below, but these are no-show wefts. I think I got the 20 inch set, it might even be longer, and I have a lot of different wefts, so I'm going to kind of separate these out. This also does come with some extra clips, by the way, and I recommend if you start to become an extension wearer to definitely save those or get some from like Sally's um, because you will have to replace your clips, especially after washing these a couple of times so that there's no mold or rust on them. And it's really easy to replace because you're just sewing them on the weft. First, I am going ahead and separating my wefts. I usually try to start with one that has a two weft, go up to three, four, um, end back with the threes and twos and then these little singular wefts we use later on. So obviously the hardest thing is going to be blending curls when you have a lot of volume and your hair is short like mine. So here's what I used to do. First I'm not even going to use a comb because I have some sections already in my hair from when I braided it but also because I kind of want this to look as blended and natural as possible but I usually just take two front sections of my hair and kind of pin this on the top of my head first and then what I used to do I'm gonna try not to do it this time and see if it works in my favor it might not but what I used to do was take the bottom section split it in half and similar to what I did on my New Year's Eve glow up video I put braids in my hair I wouldn't make them French braids though I would just make them regular braids and have like two or three on each side and the braids still have that same kind of texture that matches with a more tighter curl so you could kind of finesse it with black hair it's a lot harder to do that when your hair is lighter or if your curls are looser so I'm gonna try and blend these without doing that first and see if I can do that so I'm just gonna take one bottom section of hair from this bottom section of hair so I have a bottom section of hair here again I know that it might give you a little bit of anxiety to not section with a comb but I don't do this because I do want a blendability with my curls this just means you have to be very careful when it comes to taking them out to not damage your hair or your hair extensions. But I'm going to take a two clip weft and I am going to just place it centered on my hair. The cool thing about having curly hair that you're blending with extensions is that you tend to already have texture at the root so you don't have to tease your hair or cause any knots or tension because you already have something for the extensions to kind of take that grip on. I'm going to add a second two clip weft 
right above on the same section and I'm doing that because I want to add more volume before I start moving up so that it's easier for my hair to blend. So in the front you can kind of already see where my hair ends and where the other one doesn't. So this is what I'm going to do differently in the hopes that it works out for me. I am going to take another two clip left and I am going to clip that on and try and basically surround this lowest portion of my hair. As you move up, it'll make sense if your hair texture has layers to it, it'll start to look like that as opposed to, oh, she definitely has curly hair extensions in, but you wanna make sure that you solidify that bottom layer or everything else looks a mess. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So again, I'm just trying to surround this bottommost layer of hair with more extension. So now it kind of looks like it grew out of my scalp. So then after that, you're just gonna go up the back and apply your hair extensions as you normally would. Making sure though that you have enough hair sectioned at the crown area so that you can cover any wefts. And I really am feeling these hair extensions because I think blending the wefts into your hair is gonna be a lot easier now that it's pretty much gone to begin with. Since I'm already closer to the like crown area, I'm gonna go in with the four next instead of sticking with threes. And you can see there's still the center section of my hair that has these short pieces. So we covering her up, okay? And I, again, I'm gonna stack two extensions on the same layer of hair. So I'm not applying this as close to the top of this section as you would think, because we stack it. I'm gonna take another three and stack it, right? And this time we're trying to cover and surround the center pieces of hair. And I basically kind of um, lightly, not comb through my hair, but kind of just smush it together so that the curls blend with the extensions a little bit more. There's two hacks that you can do, one of which I will show you guys right now. What I used to do is I would take this front section of hair and literally just pull it back and do half up, half down. Why? Because now you don't have to worry about blending this top layer because then you just take this top layer and braid it and hide it. That's what I used to do. So you can still do that, but what I'm gonna do is a traditional method of hair extensions and that is going in on this side, taking a section away. And I still have a three part weft. Since I do a side part, I recommend if you're gonna do the same, keep one of your like medium sized wefts for the side of your side part that has more hair. This will really help you to blend that side together. If you have a center part, then you wanna save these medium sized wefts for the back. Wherever you're gonna focus a lot of the hair at the end of the style, make sure you save at least one medium weft to help blend these layers. So I'm going in with this three clip weft and you can see it blended that side that it was giving me issues. And then I can go like this and start to blend a little further and it's less of a struggle bus now. Now it just looks like my hair is really full. Again, with the side part, I save these little single wefts for the side that has less hair. But if you're doing a center part, then you wanna just add these to the top of both sides. And I kinda just apply these where I feel like they are needed to help me blend everything together. Now, the famous thing to do is to kinda just play around with the placement of your hair and not necessarily have like a solid part because then it looks like, oh, she has layers. Look at this. The texture is supposed to be there. And honestly, guys, it is that simple. The thing I like the most about hair extensions is that your hairline is still yours. It's not like you're wearing a wig, so you're not gonna overheat. You don't have to blend your hairline with anything. And I would recommend definitely, if you get a longer set of extensions like this, kind of trimming the bottom to add a little bit more layers so that it's more believable. But I love these, and again, super easy to apply. My extensions were also in 1B natural black. The curly hair extensions, I don't believe, come in jet black. I was a little nervous about that because usually any extensions, ponies, I automatically go for jet black because natural black tends to be a little too brown and more noticeable for me. But this blends 
pretty well color wise and then one other hack is if you want to add more volume especially like you can see the bottom of these extensions they don't have nearly as much volume as my natural hair does um, this is when you can start to comb through lightly through the hair you don't want to be too aggressive so I'd actually recommend sticking with just your fingers when you're like pulling things apart and trying to add that volume so that you don't mess up the hair or frizz it out but it's just as simple as playing around with the hair a little bit with your fingers to add a little bit more texture to it so that it blends better with whatever your curl pattern is and again this curl pattern is their medium curl so it's like a kinky curl I think it's maybe that's what it's called. They have one looser curl than this and one tighter curl than this. So depending on what your curl pattern is, then you can choose accordingly. But I was just amazed because I remember when Irresistible Me first caught my attention years ago, I don't think they had curly hair extensions. Like curly hair extension brands were hard enough to find. Um, so the fact that they now have this and they have different textures, different curls, we love it. These hair extensions feel super comfortable. Again, they were super easy to apply. Um, they're cute, human hair, curly, blendable. Um, so I would rate them a solid A. I feel like this is something that I would definitely wear, especially when it gets to the spring, summer, warmer weather, and I want to look like a little island goddess um, and rock my natural texture, but want some more oomph to it. I feel like curly wigs, like natural curl curly wigs, I have not found any that don't look a little crazy on me um, so I think opting for these extensions is a good way to go so now that I've shown you how you can apply these let's talk about three different easy quick curly hairstyles you can do with these or you can do if you are blessed and have natural beautiful curls yourself here are three hairstyles for 2022 that you can totally rock starting right now I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel so out of my element having these long curly extensions back in my head. If you guys are interested in seeing more hair feminine hairstyle based videos, let me know. A lot of you guys have been asking how I style my hair and I've been relying heavily on wigs this past year and a half. So it'll be interesting to see how I transform my hair throughout this year and play around with both curly and straighter textures. So yeah, if you guys want anything specific or want any advice or just want a little bit more insight into what I do, then let me know. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!